Hello there, I'm Mobs Wolf, and welcome to this tutorial demonstration thing. Uh, it's a preset I've created, and the preset is called the Layer Edge Feather. And what it does is, if you have like a, a floor plane in 3D space, it'll feather the edges for you, and it gives you quite a lot of control over how it's feathered. So, the first thing you want to do is copy the preset into your After Effects directory. So you download the zip file, open it up, and then you've got this Rob's Wolf folder here with Layer Edge Feather. Here's the preset file. I made this preset in After Effects CS4, so it should work in anything uh, newer than that. So CS4, CS5, CS5.5, CS6. And we'll just go back to the zip file here. And you go to Computer, C, Program Files, Adobe, After Effects. This is assuming you've installed it in the normal place. Support Files, Presets, and we're going to copy over this uh, Rob's Wolf folder. Copy it, continue. Let's copy over the folder for us. We'll hop back into After Effects. Now, if After Effects was running when you copied the folder, you'll need to refresh your animation presets list. If it wasn't running when you copied it, then just start up After Effects and it'll be good to go. But After Effects was open for me, so I'll click on this button here. Just at the bottom of the screen here, it says Refresh List. So we'll click on that. It's going to reload the list. And you can see now we have our Rob's Wolf folder. So I'll go ahead and create a new composition. 720p, 25 frames per second. And I'll add a background. Comp size, OK. We'll add a ramp effect. Just to give it a bit of life. You know, something like that. Radial, there we go, that's fine. And we'll go ahead and we'll make our floor plane. So floor, and we could make this like, you know, blue. Okay, and we'll make it pretty big, so I say 2000 by 2000 pixels. Okay. And we'll go ahead and we'll uh, right click and make it a 3D layer. Grab the rotate tool rotate this flat. If you hold shift it'll snap. So rotate it, uh, push it down, go to layer, new camera, we'll do the 24mm, two node, and that's fine, OK. Grab the camera tool and spin round like that. Might set this down to half resolution here, just so we get a bit better. And you can see it's not a great floor plane, it's a bit kind of you know, it's flat, harsh edges. So we'll go into our animation presets, Rob's Wolf, Layer Edge Feather. We'll drag out the Rob's Wolf Layer Edge Feather preset, drop it onto our floor. And immediately we get all these effects copied over, so we'll just shrink those down. And then I'll just make this window a little bit bigger, so I can see what we're working with. So The way my presets work is they all start with RW for Rob's Wolf, and it's a colon then an abbreviation for the preset name. So in this case it's Layer Edge Feather LEF. Anything that has FX in it, you should just ignore. You don't want to mess with those. Because they've got, you know, all these expressions and just look at that. Ugh. You don't want to be messing with that. It's ugly. It's horrible. So um shrink all this down. And the three effect three effects you want to work with with the Layer Edge Feather preset are the Use Default Amount, Scale Compensation, and Custom Feather. What the Use Default Amount do does is it'll calculate what it thinks is the best feathering amount. In this case it's 200 and it'll calculate the best feathering amount for the layer and this floor plane is 2000 pixels wide by 2000 pixels high. So this is one eighth of that. So it'll calculate that then it'll feather one eighth in each direction, so it'll be a quarter feathered overall. And that's what the use default amount does. We can turn that off. We get custom feather, so we can just turn this up and choose our custom feathering amount like that. We could feather it a bit more. Actually, that blue looks horrible on the red. I'm just going to change that. What goes well with red? Yellow does. There we go. That's better. Um, 
what else we have here is a scale compensation. And if I turn on the use default amount and turn this down, what I can do is if I I'm actually just gonna make the layer smaller here to make demonstrate this more easily. Uh let's put a thousand pixels wide maybe. I've got this little quite small layer here. What the scale compensation will do is it will read the scale and react accordingly to it. So we can scale this up like that. And the scale compensation with it on, if this is n say now like 3000 by 500 pixels wide, then it'll act as if the layer is 3000 by 500 pixels rather than 1000 by 1000 pixel layer that's been stretched. If we turn off the scale compensation, we kind of get this weird feathering that just doesn't look right, you know, we could scale it like that. We just get this weird, horrible feathering. You turn it on, get much better feathering like that. That's all that really is. Uh, that's I think that's just about everything to show you with the preset. Another way you could achieve this. So these are all uh, linear wipe transitions. If you've if you're clever and you've spotted that. Um, if you what you can do instead of using the preset is if you just get rid of these effects. You can add say a rectangle rectangular mask. So select that. Select the layer. Double click on this tool. It'll add a perfect rectangular mask. Then hit F to bring up the feathering. You know, turn that up to say, what do we have? 250 pixels. We're going to get this really weird effect, and because of that, the reason to f because of that is because of the mask has not been expanded. Um, so we'll shrink the mask by this amount. So we hold down Alt and click on the stopwatch next to Mask Expansion. Alternatively, you can, you can select the parameter animation add expression and then we'll grab the pick whip, t pick whip tool and just select either of these mask for feather effects and then at the start we're just going to add a negative sign, a minus sign click that and now we have this and the, the mask will scale you know the expansion will work according to this alternatively you could use if you click on shape reset to ellipse you could use an elliptical mask which is great if you've got like a massive huge floor plane you know might be better but either way works fine and that's what I love about After Effects it's so you can achieve the same effect many different ways and that's what makes that's what makes it unique and amazing yay <laughs> okay I think I've shown you everything there is to show about this preset I have got more on the way I've got one about aspect ratio crops at the minute well that's kind of really hard to do because it keeps on not quite working being like a few pixels out I'm getting there though, don't worry wow, we've been going for 8 minutes over 8 minutes, I should just stop rambling ok, <laughs> um, thanks very much for watching also I recently suddenly hit 16,000 views on my channel, that is amazing huge achievement, thank you very much uh, I will hopefully make a video about that soon enough uh, anyway, stop rambling Robbie I'll uh, see you all see all you people later. Thanks. Bye now.